Don't talk about my life. Lies! Lies and lies and more lies! So it's literally 12.04 a.m. on December 2nd right now. Can you see that? Also, look at this photo of me. So cute, by the way. Um, anyway, I am currently watching my brain in the way. Yeah. I'm currently watching Aaliyah's face on YouTube and she's doing vlogmas and just talking about like, just, you know how our videos are just so, so like good? If you don't watch Aaliyah's face, which you probably already do, but if you don't, you need to go watch her. But I'm just like, she, I'm just watching her videos and I'm like, this is just so, I just feel like inspiring. And I'm like, why don't I do vlogmas? Because I wanted to start bringing back, I'm, oh, juice. I'm doing hair prep, by the way, which side note, it took me like 30 minutes to find this wig. But this wasn't even the wig that I wanted to find. But I can't find my other way. I can't find the birthday wig, the blue wig in this photo. I can't find it and I don't know where it is and I'm actually kind of sad about it. But I had to find this wig. So that's just what I had to put on. So don't talk about my wig. But I'm doing some hair prep. It's one of those, you're up late at night and you feel like you're about to get your whole life together moment. Yeah, that's what I'm having right now. So I just feel like why not do vlogmas? I feel like it would be a bit of a challenge for me because I do struggle with posting consistently on YouTube. But I feel like the moment that I put this out there, I kind of have to like, I have an obligation <laughs> to actually like follow through and stuff. And I'm just like, I wanted to bring back the vlogs like I said, but I wasn't quite sure how to bring them back because I want you guys to, you know, I want us to be like this, like twinning. No, no. Cause I did them a little while back, but then I stopped and I'm like, I feel like Vlogmas is the perfect time. Like let's be besties. And although I am saying this at 12 AM and you always feel like you're about to get your life together in the You always feel like you're about to get your life together in the middle of the night. I just feel like now that I have this record and the fact that I'm watching Leah, I feel like I could get it done and you're gonna see me, fingers crossed, get it done. But yeah, anyway, I'm just hair prepping and that's just my little spiel. So let me know what contents you guys wanna see. I will say preface, considering the fact that I'm starting on December 2nd and not December 1st, which Vlogmas is 25 days. I don't know if I will have the 25 days, I will say that. However, you know what? I'm not even gonna put a little doubt in my mind. I'll do my very best to do I'll do my very best to put as much content out as possible. And I'm gonna aim for at least like 24 days because I'm already like a day behind. But I will stay committed. That's my whole point. And let me know what kind of content you wanna see. I do have a lot of things that I need to get done. My nails on my hand, which these are my real nails, by the way. This is, oh, I cut them all off. I forgot, but my real, nails used to, my real nails used to be long and then this one broke and then this one decided to break and now they all gone downhill. So I have to redo them again. And of course I have my hair appointments. It's Christmas, which I feel like I'm in Jersey and Christmas in New York is just a great time. So me and my parents and my sister, and I think my brother as well, we're going to the city sometime and I'm also going to the city with my friends. So it's just like, I feel like I'll have enough content to film and we'll have some fun, even though some of it might be like mundane things, but we'll have fun. Anyway, I'm done rambling now because if you leave me alone with this camera, I will chat for 30 minutes straight about absolutely nothing, but I will talk for the whole 30 minutes. So anyway, I'm going to go back to watching Leah's face and putting my hair, my client's hair on the rack and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. <laughs> I lied, I like to talk. So my whole thing is also, I just feel like it's December and I kind of want to finish the year strong. So even last night, I went out to go do a whole grocery shopping thing. I got like a bunch of fruits. I want to get back into juicing, just eating healthy and actually like cooking at home because as you grow older, you do realize that there is food at home. But I've also realized I don't like cooking and I don't know what it is. I used to love cooking and then I feel like I had to do it out of obligation for like seven years and then I hated it. So I'm trying to get back into cooking and stuff, which, we shall see how that goes. But yesterday I marinated some chicken. I marinated some like little skirt steak for like bulgogi, which Korean food, chef's kiss, I love. Yeah, so those two things I marinated yesterday, I'm trying to cook a little bit more at home. I cook some rice, I have some potatoes. Just trying to do a little bit, you know, better, eating healthy. Well, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna doubt myself. I'm gonna say I'm gonna get it done. Yeah, also I'm gonna be getting a new mic probably some new lights and honestly a dash cam for when I'm driving and stuff. So bear with me, the first few vlogs might look a little, you know, dingy, but I promise by probably like the fourth or fifth one, we'll get it all together and situated. Good morning, guys. Um, It's currently the morning time, but I heard before it was like 12.04 yesterday. 12.04 when I went to bed. 
but now it's actually like the morning morning and i don't even know where i left off the vlog but i'm running so so late i have to go get an oil change before i go to where i'm like shadowing for cosmetology but for some reason which i don't know well actually i do know today looked a lot different in my head so i scheduled an 8 a.m appointment which why would i do that it's such a bad idea yeah i scheduled an 8 a.m appointment i think it's like 7 45 right now the place is like 20 minutes away so i'm going to be late but it is what it is because i can't stress about it i can't that, don't, that, don't do that that's such a bad british accent what was that and this bob it's so stiff it's not even funny i tried to like revive it so i look somewhat like presentable and stuff but it's just like i generally do not know where where my other wig is and it's like bothering me because that was like my birthday wig but yeah it's like <laughs> look how stiff it is there's so much product in it and i just i meant to wash it last night but i honestly forgot i also tried to go to the gym this morning and between going to the gym and snoozing my alarm snoozing my alarm one so i slept oh not really slept and i still had to be up at like 6 30. Oh, LTD. not the best outfit but can you even see this? I don't think so, but I just have my trench coat on because it is currently freezing in New Jersey. And I got myself so I can edit while I'm at the dealership to do my oil change. I'm like extremely late to my appointment right now. It's currently 8.01. Mm. I got these grapes yesterday and just hear the crunch. I love when grapes are just like they just they're a little firm and just there's like a little crunch to them. But anyway, my appointment is at um it's currently 801, like I said. I'm 16 minutes away, and my appointment was at 8 o'clock. And I tried to call them, but online it says that they're closed, so I'm not quite sure how I was supposed to notify them, but I'm on my way now, and since technically online they open at 9 a.m. I'm hoping I don't even know what the lighting's doing. I'm hoping that it shouldn't be that big of an issue and I should still be in and out within like an hour or so. So fingers crossed. Pardon the TV noise, but I got here and one thing about it is your car, everything could be going right in life and your car, something's gonna be wrong and they're gonna find something to fix. I came for an oil chain that was supposed to be like what, $90? She's now talking about my waist, don't talk about it. She's now talking about how there's something with the coolant or whatever and now my bill is down to 54 How do we jump from $90? to 254. I, I came for an oil change. My mom That's all I came for. Me. The but last time I came, and I think it's just this woman, honestly. The last time I came too, I came for an oil change and she told me all the things that were wrong with my car and I ended up spending about $500, which is crazy. I don't think it's her. And like she's trying to oh, I'm just trying to hook you up, hook you up. But I'm like, the last time I came here, they did my oil chain and they let me mind my business and that was it. And now it's just all these things that are always wrong when she's the one doing my car. And I don't like that. Because I came for an oil change of $90. How am I ending up saying $254? And like, I'm 23, so it's like childish yourself to be like, oh, can I call my dad? Because I can't call my dad. <laughs> well, I can, but like, <laughs> whatever. Guys, she's a scammer. That woman is a freaking scammer. She wants to take all my money. Let me start moving first. I'm already late to my cosmetology thing because they took forever on my car. And, oh, this is a freaking one way. Okay, so how the heck am I supposed to get out of here? Sorry. I go this way, right? You going out? Yeah. You want to go this way? Oh, I thought. go out that one, it's the next one. Okay, thank you. I said it one way. So, I talked about how I came in for my oil chain and she added the extra like whatever, like 180 something. So it became like 254 because um, she said she had to fix the cooling, the cooling flushing or whatever the heck she called it. I'm so upset right now. And then she said that she had to fix that. And then I was like, fine, whatever. And then she came back again. And I was like, oh, there's another thing wrong with it. And what's it called? This camera is like so off center. And then she said there was another thing wrong with it. And um, Okay, I need a dash cam because I'm trying to tell the story but my camera keeps moving. So I don't know where I left off, but yeah, she found something else wrong with my car. My car that was seemingly perfectly fine, she found something else wrong with it. I forgot what she called this one, but she was like, fine, it's covered under the warranty that I just need to sign some papers. And while she was leaving with that one, she was like, oh, by the way, um, something, something with your brakes, we're going to have to come back and discuss it. And in my head, I'm like, brakes? Like, what are you talking about? So I didn't, like, ask any questions there. So later on, she calls me to her her desk. And she goes, okay, so this is what's wrong with your car, yada, yada, yada. 
the issues that she listed ended up being an additional six hundred and sixty dollars six hundred and sixty dollars for what i came for an oil change and then she gave me a discount i keep using quotes because i'm so pissed she gave me a discount of sixty dollars so it ended up being six hundred dollars and then i eventually called my dad because i'm just like and he was like that's literally how these dealership people are but the thing is like the woman just makes me feel like so like taken care of and protected that i feel like i kind of forget that like she's a salesperson and she still has to make a sale and she probably makes commission off of how much she fixes but like she just makes me feel like oh like my darling like little sister i'm gonna take care of you lies lies and lies and more lies <laughs> And I'm just like, are you serious right now? So then after that, I was like, this woman has to be like joking me right now. And then I was like, okay, after I talked to my dad, this camera is so bad. After I talked to my dad, he goes, you literally don't have to say yes. Because he talked about, he said that one time they told him he needed to fix his battery. And he was able to use his battery for like a whole other year after that. So it wasn't even like an emergency situation. But she showed me all these photos and yada yada yada. And then she talked about, oh, I was like, oh yeah, I just don't have the money for it right now because I don't, that's not what I budgeted coming to see. She was like, oh, but we have payment plans. You want to send me into debt? Into debt over a car? No. She's like, oh, wait, this time. I'm like, I just told you. What if I really did have money problems? And you're telling me that, oh, just sign up for a payment plan. It just takes out of your account. There's like zero interest. No. And then eventually I was like, you know, I just have to talk to my dad. She was completely understand. And then, right now it's what, December 2nd, I think? She was like, oh, by the way, I'm not gonna be here the last week in December. If it was that much of a dire need to fix the car, I feel like, what's it called? I feel like she wouldn't even suggest that I wait that long. She would tell me that I need to come in like in like a week or two. Cause I told her that, hey, yeah, I'll come back. I'll think about it for like a week or so. She goes, oh yeah, just so you know, I'm not gonna be here for the last week of December. If it was that important, you wouldn't tell me to wait till the last week. And then she was like, oh yeah, you know, just your brakes. I bet probably when you're driving, it probably like jolts a little. I was like, no, it doesn't. She goes, oh, well, you know, it's the rear one. So maybe not. Yes, maybe not. Cause my brakes are fine. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just like so upset right now because how did I go from $90 to almost spending a thousand dollars? How is that possible? It just doesn't make any sense. And then to top it off, I'm so dramatic right now, but I'm just so upset. And then to top it off, she starts talking about, oh, by the way, you might need to also change your tires because there's dry rot. My tires are fine. I just changed them not that long ago. So I'm just like, so is your job basically just to pick apart my car and find things that are need fixing just so you can make money? Is that nice? The last man I came to here, he literally changed my engine oil. Whoa, this car is coming very close to me. He literally did my oil change and sent me on my way. The last time I went with this woman, again, I went from an oil change to spending $500. And then today, again, from an oil change to spending almost $1,000. How is that possible? I'm just like, oh, jeez. Like, I understand how to make a sale and stuff, but, like, scamming? Scamming? Me? I don't like that. I just don't like that at all. I really liked her. I really did like her. And then she left her personal phone. I was like, oh, just call me. If I don't answer, just leave a voice there. I'm not calling you. I'm going to somebody else. I, I'm just so passionate about this. Because my car was fine. All that need, all it needed was an oil change. She bamboozled me last time. She didn't get me this time, though. And I'm so upset. But it is what it is. Anyway, I'm on my way to the cosmetology thing. I'm so late. I was hoping to get there for like 10, 30, 11 at least. But everything took so much longer. And I got there at like, I mean, I was late, but I got there at 820. But it was still like, it just ran a little like way over time. But I'm not getting there now to like 1120, which really sucks because I wanted to get there a lot earlier. But hey, it is what it is. I'm done ranting now. I'm honestly not quite sure why this thing is showing up dark. Because I tried to film upstairs as well too and it just was showing up so, so dark. But I made din din. Well, lunch. <laughs> it's 2.38 p.m. <laughs> it's lunch. Let me take a photo real quick because I'm proud of myself. Let's do a little photo, little photo shoot. Okay, so let me show you guys what I'm eating. This is what it looks like. I kind of already started. It's just white rice, kimchi, and then bulgogi. Well, bulgogi-ish. I got, my mouth is already watering. <laughs> I got, um, what's it called? Um, like skirt steak from, a, from Walmart. I marinated it in <laughs> a bulgogi marinade that I got from H-Mart and 
Stop there. Kogi and kimchi together. Mm. I will say though, next time I'm definitely going back to H Mart because H Mart has like the specific bulgogi meat that's like very like soft and tender. This is a little bit tough. You still get the bulgogi taste, but I'm definitely gonna go back to H Mart next time to get the actual bulgogi meat. But it was expensive. And I have this kimchi because me and my friend, which I'm gonna add a photo if I could find it. We did an Asian food board night because I love Asian food. So we did Korean, Japanese. Chinese and Indian. I don't know. I'll add a photo right here. It was so cute, but I'm starving, y'all. I'm gonna go eat. I just ordered my new MacBook. <laughs> well, my iMac. I forgot to even record that part, but um, I edit a lot. YouTube, you get it. And what's it called? My MacBook right now, it sounds like it's gonna blow up every time I edit because it's just, it doesn't have enough internal, it doesn't have enough storage, basically. So I had to get a new MacBook iMac and then one of my clients luckily she offered me a discount so I'm really glad so she helped me place the order yeah I'm just glad that I ordered my iMac so I'm gonna go finish my food again I'm back again because I decided I think this is where I'm gonna end today's vlog just so I can edit and get it up today but thank you guys for the first episode of vlogmas I'm super excited I'm hoping I am I'm claiming that I am gonna stay consistent and gonna post every single day but that's it for today. <laughs> I found the wig. I found the freaking wig. And I swear I checked where I found it, but I don't know, maybe I missed it or something, but I found the wig. I'm gonna go wash this and style this and I found my wig, that's all. You too. I think by the time you see this tomorrow, the sale should still be going on. Bath and Body Works are having a sale for all their candies that are usually, uh, geez. They're usually on sale for 20, yeah, 26.50. They're on sale for 9.95. Clearly, I don't know how to say goodbye because I've said bye like <laughs> 10 times already in this vlog, but I have to go back out to stuff at, oh, excuse me. What's the name of the store? Best Buy to pick up a memory card because mine, this one I'm like, using it and deleting and i just needed another memory card and then bath and body works they're having their um they're having their what's it called um it's the end of the day i'm not thinking properly they're having their candle sale so let's go over the candles that i got i got the first one this is a new scent that i've never tried before it's called bubbly rose and it smells like freshness, but a little bit of fruity. Yeah, that's the best way I can describe it. The notes are pink sparkling rose, sweet blood orange, splash of cranberry juice. Yeah, I get the cranberry juice in this one. I really, really like that one. And then, oh, can't show that one. That's a birthday. That's a Christmas gift. But um, the other one I got was cranberry pear bellini. And this was another like clean, it's clean, it's a clean scent, but on the fruitier side. So it has pear nectar, red cranberries, lush apricot, tart, black currant. Yeah, it's like a fresh scent, fresh scent, but it's very fruity. And I really like that. And then this one I got for our house, actually. It's called Sugar Lemon Zest. And it's like, it smells like limoncello. I thought just very, very like cleaning product, but that like lemon cleaning products. I really like the smell of the house. I just feel like it makes the house smell like super, super clean. And then the last one I got was Cypress and Amber. Yes, I honestly just like this whole like aesthetic of, I just like these are really cute, YouTuber days. Yeah, I just really, really like the aesthetic of these. And it also smells really, really good. I love, um, muskier scents especially muskier but like woodsy i don't know how to explain it properly but yeah muskier but like woodsy smells especially during like um the winter time so like a lot of like fresh balsam balsam yeah those are my scents so this one the notes are dark cypress smoked amber and fresh bergam fresh bergamot so that's the smell of this one and 
I think like now now I'm like for real done with this vlog I think I've put enough content in one vlog and we'll see each other tomorrow but thank you guys for watching the very first episode of vlogmas I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow and I hope you enjoy this vlog bye